I want to thank every single member of the Climate Assembly for the tremendous work that you've done over the last few months in incredibly difficult circumstances. You've managed to bring your great minds together to come up with solutions to the climate emergency. And it's solutions that we need because we can set all the targets in the world, but unless we come up with practical measures that people can understand and governments can deliver, then we won't make progress on tackling the climate emergency. And I think it's the great power of citizens' assemblies by bringing people from all sorts of backgrounds from right across the country together, I think can come up with great ideas. And that's why I'm really delighted that you've reached the conclusion of your work and you're going to be publishing your report very soon. I'm eager to look at it. I want to understand what we can do to move things forward because the Liberal Democrats do want to make sure that we tackle the climate emergency and make real progress towards bringing our climate back into order to make sure that it's there for future generations. So thank you very much for all the work that you've done. I'm looking forward to the report and good luck with the proceedings today. I'm Douglas Ross, leader of the Scottish Conservative and Unionist Party. I was proud to sign this letter alongside my fellow political leaders only a month after I became Scottish Conservative leader last year. And I want to thank everyone who took up that call and for their participation in this climate assembly. Now, it's inevitable that political parties will take different views on the climate assembly's recommendations. That's the nature of politics. However, there can be no doubt that the climate emergency is one of the biggest challenges facing our generation. The assembly has been an invaluable exercise in finding out what the people we represent want us to do in tackling climate change. We all have a responsibility to tackle this urgently and we must not shy away from that responsibility. So thank you again to those who looked at this letter from Scotland's political leaders and decided to get involved. You've helped to shape the country's future and our action on climate change. I want to thank all members of the Climate Citizens Assembly for all your extraordinary efforts as you look ahead to publishing your report and your recommendations. I look forward to considering them and hopefully implementing them through our Scottish Parliament as we head into the next parliamentary term. And your work is so crucial. We are facing a climate emergency and I think it's so important that as we emerge from COVID that we don't go back to the old arguments. Instead, we focus on what unites us, not what divides us. And we've got to unite behind a climate justice plan. We've got to make sure the national recovery plan that we have for our country has a climate recovery plan at its heart. So as we reshape our economy, how do we make sure it's fit for purpose for the future in terms of creating new jobs and innovation and a green economy? How do we also use that new economy to drive down our carbon emissions so we can meet our ambitions together as a planet? And then how do we build those relationships? Because climate change does not recognise borders. How do we rebuild those relationships both across the UK and around the world to redouble our efforts as we head to COP26 here in Glasgow in November. I want us to have someone who focuses on a climate recovery, not just in one portfolio, but across every portfolio of our parliament, because fighting climate justice should be a fight for every single one of us. This is about the planet we leave our children and our grandchildren. And I look forward to working with all of you to make sure we take on the climate emergency. Thank you for all your efforts. I'm Lorna Slater, co-leader of the Scottish Green Party, which I do as a volunteer. My full-time job is as an engineer in renewable energy. I'm working on the project to build the world's largest tidal turbine, which is currently being assembled in Dundee. The Climate Assembly was initiated by a Scottish Green MSP Mark Ruskell as an amendment to the Climate Bill, and we signed a letter inviting you all to take part in the Climate Assembly. So you can imagine how excited I am about the work that you're doing and how much I'm looking forward to reading your final report. The climate crisis is going to dominate all of our lives for the next century, and the sooner we get to work on reducing our emissions, the better the future will be. I'm hoping to get elected to the Scottish Parliament in six weeks' time, and will be looking to implement the recommendations of your report. Thank you all for your time and for your work. 
The Citizens' Assembly is something that I really believe in, a way of hearing from people who don't normally get a say in the decision-making of their country. That's you. The work you've done will be read by us and acted on in the next Parliament. You are part of a chain of actions which I hope will lead to Scotland changing direction and leading the world in green energy, low-carbon transportation and energy efficiency. We can reduce our emissions and show the world how a thriving, fair economy works in a zero-carbon future. Hello there, everyone. I'm delighted to send this very brief message to all of you at the final meeting of Scotland's Climate Assembly. I wanted to say a massive thank you to all of you for your contribution and all the work that you have done. I know that your recommendations are going to be published in the near future and I certainly look forward to reading and reflecting on all of those. Tackling climate change, leading the transition to a net zero future is one of the biggest responsibilities we have. It's a big moral responsibility that we owe to this and future generations. Uh, and Scotland has and continues to lead by example on the world stage. But of course, there's a lot of hard work ahead of us to do all of the things and make all of the changes that will be necessary to meet our world leading targets. So the work you have done will be hugely helpful in helping us do exactly that. So thank you sincerely for all of the effort that you have committed to this. I look forward to reading your deliberations and final report and taking forward all of the ideas and suggestions that will help to make Scotland a net zero country and end once and for all our contribution to climate change. Thanks very much.